How's it going guys, Chris here, checking out another one of those Battlefield 5 weapons in detail, and today I'm going to be focusing on the Panzer Boxer 39, a recon class anti-material rifle that featured in Tides of War Chapter 4. With the Germans having to rely quite heavily on their huge tank of air rifles to counter British land ships appearing on the Western Front during the later stages of the First World War, tank hunting weapons became an ever-growing necessity, with land vehicles becoming more advanced when used for combat. This was especially apparent in the late 1930s, with tanks soon to be a very important aspect of World War II, and with the threat of armoured warfare looming, this led to designers going back to draw inspiration from the earlier tank of air rifle, and essentially try and update it for the then-present day. The Panzer Boxer 38, aka the BZB38, was the result. A pretty complicated single-shot weapon that was quite difficult to manufacture, forcing it to be further developed very shortly after, leading to the Panzer Boxer 39, which retained a lot of the same aspects as the last model, though now featured several improvements, such as attachable cases containing ammo, helping the gunner to fire faster, due to that ammo being quicker to access. During the earlier stages of the war, when the PZB-39 was being used, the tank armour it was up against was quite thin, so it was actually pretty successful, capable of punching through said armour and doing what it set out to do effectively, up to a certain distance anyway. Though as tanks got stronger over the years, much like anti-tank weapons used by other nations, the BZB-39 became obsolete, used in lesser numbers as the war raged on. Being another anti-material rifle, you can expect the PZB-39 to dish out lots of damage per shot in Battlefield 5, actually having a slightly higher power output than the boys AT rifle, dealing a maximum damage of 112 up to 100 meters, which then suddenly drops down to 90 from this point, and gradually weakens over distance from here, eventually reaching 80 damage at 200 meters. The gun's going to take people out in the same number of shots as the boys rifle, just one body shot up to 100 meters and two beyond. And just like the boy's rifle, you'll still deal less damage when hitting your opponent's legs, often meaning that your target can still survive when getting hit within 100 meters. Though because the PZB-39 can retain a slightly higher amount of damage over distance, this might make it a tad more effective at bringing down already weakened players, who might just be able to survive a hit with the boy's rifle beyond 100 meters. In a sense, making one hit kills a little bit more consistent over range. Being a single shot rifle, it's only got the fire rate of 18 RPM making it one of the slowest shooting weapons in the whole game, slightly slower than the boys' rifle too. This makes mission shots all the more problematic, also making it a fairly risky weapon for counter-sniping, with the combination of a very slow fire rate and two-hit kill times over long distances, often giving bolt-action rifles and other ranged weapons a distinct advantage in gunfights. Having the very same recoil pattern as the boy's rifle, you can expect the Panzer Boxer to play out in the same sort of way when firing it off, with lots of upwards kick forcing the gun skywards, with that vertical figure of 20, though not very much horizontal recoil, only having the figures of 0.1. Not that this really means very much, as the slow firing nature of the gun allows the recoil to reset anyway by the time it's ready to blast out another bullet, so this crazy recoil doesn't exactly impede the gun's performance or accuracy. Though something that will is that muzzle velocity, which in this case is only very low compared to other recon rifles, having a bullet speed of 400 meters per second, once again matching up with the boys rifle, despite being much higher in real life. This is another thing to hinder the gun's effectiveness over longer ranges, forcing you to lead your enemy's movements quite a lot if they're running around in the distance, which can often be quite tricky to do if they're dashing around in unpredictable patterns trying to avoid incoming fire. It's a lot easier to hit targets standing still, along with slow moving vehicles, and the closer you are to them, the less you'll need to account for that bullet speed, making the gun more effective within the close to mid range span, especially with bullet drop being a tad higher than the standard rifles, sometimes causing your shots to hit your opponent's legs, denying you of those one hit kills. Unlike the boys rifle which uses a magazine, the PZB-39 is a single shot rifle, meaning you'll have to manually place the rounds into the chamber before firing, which is one of the reasons why the gun shoots so bloody slow. It's a similar kind of mechanic to Battlefield 1's Martini Henry rifle, though the PZB's ammo capacity is determined by that side mounted case, which doesn't directly feed rounds into the gun, but instead acts as a container, holding up to 10 shots, with another one able to be loaded. With all this said, it still functions like a typical recon rifle in the game, despite using a different system, essentially giving the gun 11 shots to fire in total before the need to reload. This is quite a lot of bullets, almost twice as much as the boys rifle, 
along with most of the bolt action rifles too. And because a lot of your targets are going to be going down in just one hit, this lets you take on multiple players effectively, often making the miss shot slightly less problematic as it might be with other recon weapons, having plenty more at your disposal ready to be used. Though when that side mounted case does eventually get depleted, it can take about 3.4 seconds to replace an empty case, though much longer to top it up, anywhere between about 3 to 9 seconds, which can be sped up with the quick reload specialisation, though it's often just best to use all your ammo for a new case, or interrupt top ups by switching to and from your sidearm quickly. Onto the specialisations next, the PZB 39s got the same ones as the boys AT rifle, with slings and swivels at the top left, reducing deploy times, and recoil buffer at the top right, lowering some of that wow kick. Because the recoil doesn't really play much of a role regarding the weapon's performance though, and with it still being quite high with the recoil buffer applied, I find slings and swivels to be much more useful for switching to your sidearm and gadgets, also a good one to make reload cancelling more effective when you're topping up the gun's case. In the middle section, you'll be able to find the flashless propellant and machine breach on the left, reducing buzzle flash while ever so slightly increasing the fire rate, while on the opposite side, you'll find variable zeroing along with quick reload, letting you zero the gun to assist with sniping over long ranges and slightly cut down those reload times. None of these are going to offer any huge improvements, though I tend to prefer going down the left side and giving that fire rate a slight buff, with reloads never really being too much of an issue, down to the gun holding so much ammo at a time in that side case. Last of all, we've got APCR bullets on the bottom left, increasing damage a bit against vehicles, along with the high velocity bullets on the right, giving your bullets a tiny boost in speed. If you have a hard time leading targets over distance, then high velocity bullets might help you out a little bit here, though that muzzle velocity is still going to be pretty low. So I like to run APCR bullets just to make it a bit more deadly against light tanks and jeeps, though I guess this choice really just depends on how often you like to take on vehicles as you play. So in conclusion, the Panzerbuxer 39 is another really deadly recon weapon that's capable of taking on infantry and light vehicles fairly well over most ranges, especially within the 100m zone, where it's capable of knocking players down in just one shot. It shares a lot of the same aspects with the boys rifle, meaning it can often be a risky thing to use within earlier distances, down to the gun being one of the slowest firing in the game, so if you miss your shots against a close range target, or get yourself surrounded by multiple enemies at once here, then you're going to have a pretty hard time trying to survive, despite having tons of power and the ability to drop players in just one hit. The BZB-39 can surely be effective up close, but it's far less risky when playing with a more defensive mindset from a safer distance instead, being able to keep the bullets whizzing by down to it having that large side mounted case, letting it sustain fire a bit better than the boys rifle, but with the trade off of having a slightly slower fire rate. Just like it's used in close quarters, the Panzerboxer isn't exactly designed to excel over those very long ranges either, having slower kill times than all the bolt action rifles, while also being trickier to use with its shots dropping more and travelling at a much slower pace. But because it does retain slightly higher damage figures than the boys rifle, this just might make it a bit more effective at finishing off already weakened enemies over said long ranges, perhaps giving it a slight edge for defensive play against approaching soldiers and vehicles that might have already taken some damage already. So that's it for this one guys, hope you enjoyed the video, if you did, you know what to do, and subscribe to see loads more guides just like this one if you haven't already. Take it easy, and I'll be seeing you in the next one.